All right, y'all, this is my approach to Worthy Is Your Name. I'm gonna do this video in the key of D flat. So I'm gonna play through the progression. It's really simple, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Worthy is your name, Jesus. For you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. And that's the whole song. Now, that's the simple way you can play it. I'm going to give you about four different options to get you back to the four chord, right? With some passing movements and whatnot. So they're real simple chords. Let's go ahead and get into the first one. I'm going to try to keep this simple. Not too many chords. We're going to keep it simple. So to get back to the four, you could do something like this. Worthy is your name. Right? Just two chords. A five a one and a four that's two five one if you're going to the four Worthy is your name. all right it's real simple if you want you're able to add in a four or six Worthy is your name. right real simple chords nothing too special so the second way you can play this is if you want you can do a turnaround like this now it's not gonna have a melody in the chords it's kind of just Check me out. So this is what you can do. Right? You can do that, which is a 2-6. My bad. No. It is a 3-6-2-5-4 progression. Right? To get you back to the four. I'll do it one more time. Slower. And to get this chord, all you do is you're playing a 1 over 3 chord. That's a sus 2 in the right hand. And you just add in your left hand that major third to make it a dominant chord, right? Because you're already playing this shape as is, right? All you're doing is adding that dominant, the major third in your left hand. And on top of this, with one note adding that major third in the left hand on that F, you get a sharp nine, sharp five chord, right? Six, two. And it's a sus two. It's just a one chord over a dominant seven with no third. All right? Minor five. Back to that. Okay. The third way you can kind of play this progression is by swapping the first way. So instead of going five, one, four, you're going to go one, five, four. And there's a melody line that you can play with it, which is going to sound something like this. Right? And I do something similar in the key of B on one of my old videos when I did more than anything just for context. I love you, Jesus. Right? So same kind of same kind of concept here. You're doing a one to the five to the four, but they're all 13 sus chords. I think these chords are perfect and they're not too tension. Like they're nice and smooth and, and Christmassy, if you will. And they kind of picture in that Christmas spirit. So I'm gonna play the voicing one more time. So you got the melody, right? Da, 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 right? And there's one more way, and it's real simple. It's, it involves you staying on the one. So you're going to start with a voicing like this. Um, it's just a simple, just major chord if you want to just keep it simple. And that's all it is. It's just real simple. It's just going from the one. Now, if you want, you're able to walk it up. So you can go. And then you can walk it back down. Right? My personal favorite might be this one. Because it's, it's not too much tension. But if you're looking for a more of a gospel jazz harmony, then may, maybe you, you want to look into something like this one. If you got some friends you might want to impress, throw that one in in rehearsal. If y'all are doing worthy as your name, right? Or if you want to, you know. You know, 
you have options here and then you could also if you wanted to throw the melody in there sometimes right okay so this is my video for worthy is your name if you if you enjoyed this video if you want more content like this go ahead and drop a like go ahead and drop a subscribe and let me know what kind of content you want to see next all right